Welcome back. Today I'm going to look at a very unique slide roll, the Hemi Model 153. Uh, this slide roll is made for a long period of time, from what I can find online, about 1931 to 1969. Um, and it is marketed as an electrical engineer's universal duplex slide roll. Um, if any of you have uh, the other half of the case that this should have, please send it along. I only have uh, half the case without the little top part. Um, but you can see it's the original case. Looks like price here, 1,500 yen, I guess. Um, anyhow, if you have the other part of the case, please send it along to me. <laughs> um, this is a duplex slide roll. It's built on Hemi's earlier duplex frame, which is a little smaller um, than the later frame you see on the Versalog. Um, you can also see my video on the Hemi 159 for another slide roll built on this frame. Um, this one is marked Made in Occupied Japan, uh, which dates this, this particular slide roll to between 1947 and 1949. You can see it also says that on the bottom of the cursor. Uh, so, the Hemi 153 is a electrical engineer slide roll, and uh, what that usually means on a slide roll is that it's going to somehow include the hyperbolic functions. So, vector slide rolls, slide rolls with hyperbolic functions, are typically aimed at the electrical engineer. Um, but this slide roll has a lot of unique features. So first, I'm going to split this into several videos, probably three. The first video, just a little overview here, then I'll do some examples in the second two videos. Um, okay, if you look at the front of this slide roll, it has a pretty a standard scale set, L, K, A, B, C, I, C, D. Pretty standard. Uh, but then you have T, although this is not the normal T scale. Uh, this strange G theta scale. Then you have some very strange looking scales on the back, although on the bottom you have the, the standard three uh, log log scales for positive uh, bases greater than one. Uh, and it has an interesting sine cosine reminder on the back here. We'll get to what that's all about. Um, okay, besides the strange scale set, it's the standard hemi construction bamboo celluloid facing um, adjustable. Uh, nice, although this slide roll is older, so the bamboo is starting to deteriorate. Um, doesn't slide as nice as it probably would have when it was new. Okay, let's talk about the the unique scale set. So the scale set actually is patented. Uh, there's a U.S. patent from 1937 given to Hisashi Okura uh, of the Hemi Company, um, which specifically describes the scale set and the unique things about the scale set. In particular, uh, his patent covers this G theta scale. Okay. Um, but let's let's start by looking at the back here. Uh, so it has this P, Q, and Q prime scales. These scales actually are useful for um, computing the Pythagorean theorem. So for example, if I find the 3 there on P, I set under it the 0, I come out to the 4 on Q, then I read 5 on P. So it's kind of like it computes 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared when you do that. Um, the Q prime scale is an extension of the Q scale. Okay, uh, There's no extension of the P scale, so it, it's a little awkward to use sometimes um, because there, uh, you have this asymmetry. Um, okay, the theta and R theta scales are for angles, so they're uh, there for doing trigonometry. Um, Theta is in degrees, it goes from 0 to 90 degrees, and R theta, as you might guess, is radian, uh, the radian equivalent angle, which goes from 0 to pi over 2 here at the end. Um, so that's nice, you have a, a slide roll which actually just as easily works in radians as it does degrees, which is very rare. Um, and you can see that uh, for the trigonometric functions, they're going to be... Um, on the slide roll from 0 to 90 degrees. So two interesting things about that is that it goes down to 0 and that it goes all the way up to 90 degrees, especially for tangent. Um, so you have a very strange trigonometric setup. Just for comparison here, I have a, this hemi, later hemi slide roll with pretty standard trig setup. Standard trig setup is at least S, ST, and this T1 scale. Um, which only goes from about 5.7 up to 45 degrees. This slide roll has a T2, which goes from 45 to closer to 90, but it doesn't go all the way up to 90. Um, we know the tangent function has an asymptote, so that's an interesting feature. Uh, we'll see how that looks on this slide roll. Okay. 
Um, so the, the P, Q, and Q prime scales are for solving triangles. They're kind of a replacement for the Pythagorean scales you see on other slide rolls, um, but they're not the same scale. Um, the uh, trigonometric functions are computed by using the theta scale in conjunction with P and Q. Uh, that's for sine and cosine, and that's what those reminders are about. And then for tangent, uh, you, you have this separate T scale. Okay? This uh, scale, which really makes this slide rule unique, is this G theta scale, which is called the Gudermannian scale. Um, the Gudermannian function, uh, easy way to define it is uh, GD of X is arc sine of tanch X. Um, you could also define it uh, with an integral. Uh, what this function does is it relates uh, the trigonometric functions to the hyperbolic trigonometric functions. Uh, here are three basic identities. Uh, sine of the Gudermannian of X is equal to tanch X. Uh, cosine of it is equal to the hyperbolic secant. And tangent of it is equal to the cinch function. Um, so these um, I will use in the examples to show you how the Gudermannian function allows this slide rule to compute the hyperbolics, uh, only adding one scale. And that, that's actually the content of, of, of Cora's patent. He, he says, you know, the main, the main thing here is how I can add the one scale and I can get all the, the hyperbolic trigonometric functions on my slide rule. Okay, well that's the introduction, so come back for videos 2 and 3 where I'll do some examples, first regular trigonometry, then hyperbolic uh, functions. Uh, have a great day.